hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm going to be making very simple tuba cap like this one this backdrop trendy tuba cap go and check it out i have it also in this channel this is the material i'm going to be using for the tuba cap it's a stretch material both sides the measurement i have here is 16 and a half inches by 24 and a half inches and uh, it's stretch material on this side and on this side the measurement i'm going to be needing is 22 or 22 and a half inches with this style you can actually use on stretch material i fold like this and i will sew with one and a half inch i'll sew from here i'm done sewing i will fold into two Remember, I measure 24 and a half inches here, so I have 12 and a quarter here. I will be needing 22 inches or 22 and a half inches, which is enough. After hemming this place with one and a half inches, I have 15 inches remaining here. 15 inches. What I will do now is to measure and I will mark. I will cut here. I will go and sew here first now. Down. Then I will add flint here. Flint or gather here. I will, this place I'm not going to add flint or gather here. I will only add on this part and here i'll go and sew here i'm done with the sewing here i will measure here from here from this part here this point here i will measure 10 and a half inches then from here is 11 and a half inches so this way i'm going to add plates or gather on this part here then i will leave this place without touching here with thread and needle i will mark here with thread and needle i will add plates I will start from here after we are so I will go up like this so I will draw the thread I will tie this place now and I will sew back again many times before I finally tie on the last part. I will tie here. After tying this place, I will sew back. I have the thread I started with here. I will use this thread to tie. And I will sew back again like two, three, four times. I will sew back again and I will tie there. I will sew this way again and I will tie before when I'm satisfied with the sewing. Then I will tie finally and cut the thread. So continue like this. I will show you this part. I'm doing the same thing here. 
I've sought to my satisfaction, so I tie on the last part here, I cut. I will do the same here. So I leave this place and I start up. And I sew up to here. Then I leave this place without touching this part here. I will draw the thread and I will tie here and I will sew back and tie, sew back again many times. I'm done sewing this the back and the front like this. You can use it like this, just like this. So the one to make design on top, I have two pieces that I'm going to join together. I have four and a half inches by 62 inches. This is 62 inches, four and a half inches by 62 inches, two pieces. I will join this place together here. This place, the two pieces. After doing that, I will sew here. I will sew this place all through. I'm done with the sewing. I will bring out the right side. I'm done bringing the right side out then I will twist this is the center I will hold here this center here Like this then I will start to twist I'm going to continue like this See the way I'm twisting it down before I roll? I twist. Like I said, you can use unstretched material for this tutorial. You see how beautiful it looks, how beautiful it turns out. I'm going to continue like this until I finish up to here. I'm done up to up to here. What I will do now is to sew here. I'm done sewing here. I'm going to use hot glue. You can see the way I'm adding glue on the center in between up and down, not on top here by the side, like that.
I'm going to continue like this. Last part here, this place, this rough one, I take to the back side. Like this. You can use thread and needle to sew gently on the back. I'm going to do that so that whenever I wash, it won't remove. I will start from inside. On top here because this one is the back I'm done so it runs see the front very neat there is no thread showing on the front. This is the back. So after I finish sewing, I tie and I'm going to cut. Thread and needle, I'm going to sew on top. This is the front by the side here, like this. I will sew gently inside. So that the thread will not show on top it can show behind that is under it doesn't really matter because nobody will see but on top here you have to be careful when you are sewing on top the cap so you can hold with pin before you start i will gently sew under like this from from here up to here then don't worry about here it won't fall off i will tack inside This is the back. And the front. Like I said, you can use any material to make this to back up. You can use on stretch material. Hi, Skirt. This is the finished look. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, you are welcome. Please subscribe and remember the notification bell. Please share this video to friends and loved ones. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.